Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Miriam Dow, wife, mom of four, real estate investor, and entrepreneur. Um, we're gonna be talking about theme Airbnbs today, so let's get right into it. All right, guys. So basically, I want to talk about themed Airbnbs. You will make 20% more or even higher on a theme Airbnb. Why is that? When, so, when people come to Trenton and they're looking up the Trenton area, the Princeton area, they're looking up the Sesame Place area, they're looking up Six Flags to bring their children, and they just type in that area, maybe they type in a zip code. My property is one of the first properties to pop up because people are clicking on it. People are clicking on it because at first that cover photo is drop dead gorgeous. And another thing is, themed Airbnbs in general will make 20% more income. Why is that? Because you got 20 Airbnbs in this one area, but your property is gonna stand out. So that is exactly why from now on, I actually wanna specifically tune in on theme Airbnbs, and I'm sharing that with you guys. I actually took a, um, a, a little mini class on IG um, with this guru that does themed Airbnbs, and he got he basically walked us through the theme Airbnbs. And there was a scenario when um, this other real estate guru, the, this other Airbnb guru, during the pandemic, she started to see a big decline on her reservations. But the gentleman with the themed Airbnb, he didn't see a decline on his reservations. So I think that this is very important. If you want to start an Airbnb and you haven't done it yet, you're doing your research, hold on, hold on. I need you to strongly consider, do your research on themed Airbnbs because you will make significantly more money. Just like I make more money in my area, I surpass um, the income of the host in my area. Um, you will make more money too. And to be honest, my property is not even themed. It's just a little bit more modern. It's updated. Everything is brand new. But my um, furniture and decor is very modern. Comfort was a big deal for me. So I made sure I got me some nice, comfortable mattresses. Um, so I spent a little bit more money on a comfortable mattress because at the end of the day, people are going to be sleeping there. And also, I put more money into just modernizing the home. Um, so like the artwork and the furniture and the decor, you know, I modernized it a little bit. So with that alone, you could tell that I put a lot of thought into the property. And I think that's important when you're looking to do an Airbnb. What do you want to do, especially as a new Airbnb host? You don't have, you know, guests that stayed there before. What's going to make your property stand out? A themed Airbnb would do it. And when I say themed Airbnb, you could look at your area. If you have a property that's next to the beach, you could do a beach house to Airbnb. But I'm not talking about just any beach house. I'm talking about like really beach house it out. I was looking at Airbnbs in Orlando next to like Florida. I'm gonna have a video about that actually coming up just to talk about what I learned about that market and Airbnbs. It's a whole different ball game. But they're themed Airbnbs because people go to Orlando to visit Disney World from all around the world. So the, the kind of themed Airbnbs, I'll put some pictures in here. The kind of theme Airbnbs is crazy. They have a whole room that's just Star Wars. They have the Star Wars bed with a slide coming down. They have a room that's dedicated to Frozen and Elsa and Cinderella with like a, um, a cottage type was like a cottage type bed with a mattress in it like what kid is not gonna see that picture that's gonna be dope so when I say theme Airbnb I'm talking about theme it out if you want to do a gear I know there's like a few game room Airbnbs I saw one near my property and it's nice but I feel like if you want to you know make it a little bit better put some LED lights across the walls you know paint the rooms make it look like a real game room make it feel like a game room so when you walk in the person doesn't feel like they're just in an apartment with a few games like a pool table here or something make it feel like a game room visit a game room go to Dave and Buster's go to Ch you know Chuck E Cheese stuff like that and see how their themes are like you know if you want to paint your walls blue do that put some LED lights um, and then have games all over the place and then game room out everything even the bedrooms make sure you have the same color coordinate pink colors stuff like that so game rooms pink units you know a lot of bachelorette parties and stuff like that maybe someone throwing a 316 now I don't condone having parties in my um, Airbnbs 
no, I have a strict no party rule, but I just had, you know, a ladies night. I just hosted a guest who was turning 40 and she was at my property with three other girlfriends. So it was four of them. They have, they was having a ladies night just, you know, without the kids. So now if I, and they came to my property, but if I had like a pink unit, they would definitely book that because it's giving them a nice little vibe. Maybe you want to throw a little stripper pole in there. I'm talking about go all out, have the whole house pink, pink the cabinets in the kitchen pink, have pink towels in the bathroom, go all out, have, you know, little props and stuff like that. Now what I've been seeing more and more is people actually, um, having, you know, like the LED, the, like the ring light so that people could post content and stuff because podcasts and creating podcasts and doing YouTube videos and stuff like that are becoming more and more popular. And then, you know, you, I actually have my property, although it's on Airbnb, I also have it listed on, um, what's that website called? I don't forgot the name, Peerspace. So I also have it listed on Peerspace and I've had people actually contact me um, to do a music video on it. The only thing is I didn't link the schedules so the weekend that this young lady wanted to come and shoot her music video, um, it was already booked with an Airbnb guest. So that wasn't gonna work. But she was really sweet. We were, I was literally about to take, the, you know, she was really literally about to book it, but I had to go back to check and I was like, I'm sorry that weekend is booked. And the other weekend that worked for me didn't work with her schedule. So she ended up not booking it. But you could put, if you're put, if basically if your property is themed out, you can um, put it on peer space. So people who have podcasts, they're looking to record, you know, a few hours of podcasts, they'll come in and they'll book your um, Airbnb by the hour. So you could have someone in there, you know, from the morning from eight to two or something, have your cleaner come up and clean it up a little bit and then you'll have your Airbnb guest check in a few hours later. So now you double booking basically with the guest who's in there hourly and then with your nightly guest with Airbnb or VRBO or booking.com. So that's a whole nother bag that you can get to. I follow a few people on Instagram that does this and I'm really interested in doing it. I've actually, um, this is what I'm going to do with my next Airbnb and of course, you know, I'm recording everything so you guys are going to be a part of everything. Um, you're going to see how I make this, you're going to see how I turn this property into a themed Airbnb. But when I say I'm going all out, I'm going all out. If you know me, I'm far from cheap. I don't really be looking at price tags because I know I'm going to make a return and I know the pictures are going to be fire. This girl is on fire. I know the pictures are gonna be dope. So um, I'm so excited. I just can't wait to close. Sign that dotted line. Give me that pie. Just give me that contract. I'm gonna sign it. Let me order. Let me find it. Let me go to get that paper. I'm gonna turn it into. So anyway, um, I'm really excited about that. But like I said, I'm giving you some ideas. You could do a pink unit. Very popular. I feel like every city or every state has a pink unit. And I be looking them up on Pinterest. They be fire. Like literally everything be pink. Um, what else do I be seeing? Depending on where you are. Like if you're next to, like I said, Disney World. You could have like different characters. So you could have like an Avengers room, a Minnie Mouse room and stuff like that. Or you could just have the whole house dedicated to Minnie Mouse and Mickey, Ho Mickey Mouse. I be seeing those a lot. Um, those are the most popular ones I see, like the Disney characters next to the Disney Orlando properties, the game rooms, the theme rooms, and then like, there's this guy that I follow on IG, oh my god, he got this melanin, his thing is called like melanin something, his Airbnb is fire, it's like different shades of melanin, so you know how you got 50 shades of gray, I think it's 50 shades of melanin or something like that? fire very good idea and it gets booked and these are kind and i think his is in florida or something i know atlanta is off the roof with these themed airbnbs but i just want to bring this to your attention if this is your first airbnb because um you want to make sure your property is seen and your property sticks out sometimes you could even have like a blogger like a popular blogger come and do a little blog have them stay like a night free and have them do a little blog i see people have little they have articles on their airbnb i'm trying to take it to the moon y'all you know me i'm going to drag it so i'm so so excited for the ideas i have coming up for this next property um because it's about to be a movie. This is when I get into my creativity bag and I start like just thinking about what it what it's gonna be and what it can be and I get so excited. And when I'm excited, that's when I know I have something. So stay tuned for that. 
Um, and yeah, if you're interested in doing an Airbnb, strongly consider making your first Airbnb a themed Airbnb because at the end of the day, people are gonna look at the pictures. The pictures is what you're gonna get people to click on it. And when it's themed out, if a few girls are coming in or if a few homeboys are coming in for a game room and stuff like that, you're um, targeting maybe a specific audience, but you're gonna make more money than if it was just a regular regular because anyone could just book a hotel room or a motel. So what makes your property stand out from a regular regular property? You understand what I'm trying to get to? So yeah, that's definitely something that I'm really interested in um, and I'm excited about what I'm doing. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys. Subscribe, please subscribe to the channel. It's gonna help me out because uh, I'm trying to get monetized. So please subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna continue to bring you guys some more videos about, about entrepreneurship, passive income, tackling this real estate business as a mom, as a parent, as a minority. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.